Hello and welcome to Mangatora 96 and today we're going to talk about One Piece. Today's topic will be everyone's favorite one-armed redhead with a scar on his face, Shanks. This video will be in the same style like my straw hat discussion videos were, where I will go over Shanks' personality, his role in the story and his combat abilities. Before we start, here's a brief overview on who Shanks is. Red-haired Shanks, commonly known as just red hair, is the chief of the red-haired pirates and one of the four emperors that rule over the new world. Shanks is a former member of the legendary Roger Pirates, the only pirate band to successfully conquer the Grand Line. Starting out his pirate career on set crew as an apprentice alongside Buggy before forming his own crew after Goldie Roger's death. Notably, Shanks is the pirate who inspired Monkey D. Luffy to go on his own pirate journey and his crewmate Lucky Roo found the Gamu Gamu no Mi that was accidentally eaten by Luffy. He also owned the straw hat that has become Luffy's signature accessory, having gifted it to the boy as a part of a promise for them to meet again someday. Shanks is an extremely laid back man, preferring to take his time by traveling around the world with his crew while enjoying himself as opposed to rushing from one place to another. This was already the case in his youth where he was playful and innocent compared to his grumpy and opportunistic fellow apprentice Buggy. However, he still suffered from occasional bouts of immaturity, starting trivial arguments with Buggy solely out of stubbornness. In many ways, Shanks himself was like Luffy as a child in his younger years. Shanks and his crew are almost always seen partying and drinking alcoholic beverages whenever they make an appearance, as the captain's favorite pastime are attending and hosting parties and banquets. He is even able to waver the resolve of prominent figures such as Dracula Mihawk to join in his fun, as a testament of his strong charisma. Shanks is endlessly fond of parties and will start them for all sorts of occasions, in spite of already having partied a lot beforehand, as he did when he finally met Luffy's brother, Portugal's D Ace. Despite his outward simplicity, Shanks bears a rather complex moral code. His aversion to conflict had led him to believe that if personal opinions conflict, no matter how close the individual may be, it is better to part. It is indicative that Shanks prefers others to see him as someone who cares little about his own well-being preferring to laugh off even dire situation as opposed to taking direct conflict. His carefree nature ends her when those under his leadership or protection are treated, which extend to those he views as friends. As noted by the five elders, Shanks is a pacifist by nature who does not actively seek to cause chaos and disorder. He is also against the idea of needless bloodshed even if honor is involved and so far seems to only step up for a fight when a friend is in danger. He also seems to admire those who display extreme bravery for the sake of humanitarian reasons, having protected and commanded Kobe for gathering his courage to stop the summit war of Marineford in front of the ruthless Marine Admiral Akaino, as the young Marine believed that it was pointless to continue fighting and treating the wounded should be prioritized. While Shanks seems to always favor peaceful solutions, he will stand up and fight if the enemy leaves him no choice. Shanks also has skills in diplomacy, which coupled with his status as one of the four emperors means that his words usually carry a ton of weight for those aware of his reputation. He brokered a ceasefire between the Whitebeard pirates and the world government because he knew that joining the fight himself would have tipped it against the marines. Shanks managed to convince Sengoku, then the fleet admiral of the marines, to agree with his proposition, even though Sengoku has a strong hatred for pirates. Despite being calm and brave most of the time, Shanks sometimes reacts in a ways that are not always fitting in what others expect from him, a trait noted by Buggy as having always annoyed him. Those include panicking when things go wrong or shrugging off Buggy's angry disposition towards him, to greet him in a friendly manner. He also seems to carry 
something personal regarding Marshall Dittich deep within him. As when he spoke about his three scars to Whitebeard, he became serious about the situation surrounding Teach. Shines can be surprisingly serious and mature while dealing with certain topics, which runs opposite to his normal, fun-loving persona. It has been noted that he has problems relaxing while in enemy territory, causing his Supreme King Haki to burst out of his control, even though outwardly Shanks appears fine. Even though he has traveled the world, Shanks believes the best sake can be found in his hometown in the West Blue, indicating a nostalgic streak. During his encounter with Whitebeard, he referred to alcohol as healing water. Like other characters in One Piece, Shanks has his own unique love, starting it with Da. Of the Roger Pirates, most relationship between Shanks and the other crewmates remain unknown, however, it has been shown through flashbacks that he would fight with Buggy over just about anything, which led to them being punished by Silver's Rayleigh. Really. Just like Buggy, he had a close bond with Goldie Roger, as he was crying at Roger's execution and had acquired Roger's straw hat from him as far as the age of 8 years old. Shanks appears to still think about him from time to time, as he compared Luffy to Roger when meeting him. After Ace's death, Shanks remarked on how he and Roger were similar in some ways. Shanks appears to be still acquainted with Silver's Rayleigh, really, having met him at Savodi Archipelago at least once. Shanks told Rayleigh really about Luffy, with the retired pirate becoming eager to meet the latter. Shanks was well acquainted with Inu Arashi and Neko Mamushe, having met the two rulers of the Ming tribe while sailing on the Roger ship when they were retainers of Kozuki Oden. Initially, Shanks and the other crew members were not welcoming towards Kozuki Oden, but over time they warmed up to him. Shanks held Oden in high regard as he wanted to help him make Wano country open to the world. However, Oden declined the offer. Oden in turn referred to Shanks as the first son. Luffy looks up to Shanks who is his role model, a childhood hero and the man he wants to eventually surpass. At first Shanks never took Luffy seriously because he was just a boy, so he mocked Luffy's dream to become a pirate, doubting him Ancher. Later, as Shanks and his crew were leaving after Luffy stood up for him in front of Higuma and his men, Luffy declared he would become better than him, causing Shanks to begin to treat him seriously. As the ultimate expression of this, he entrusted Luffy with his signature straw hat, which is of extreme sentimental value to Shanks as it belonged to his former captain. There is an understanding between the two that Luffy will return that hat upon him becoming a great pirate, a promise that they have both taken very seriously. Luffy defends the straw hat with his life. Upon arriving at Marineford, Shanks was not ready to accept that hat back. Ben Pacman told Shanks that Luffy was going to do something big and impactful, which Shanks confirmed by stating that Luffy reminded him of a younger version of himself. Just as Luffy is currently looking for Shanks, Shanks eagerly awaits the day that he meets up with Luffy. Shanks also sees Luffy as the future of piracy. I believe he was not shy with Whitebeard when discussing his lost arm and was so delighted at seeing Luffy's first bounty that he threw a party to celebrate, even though he was already suffering from a hangover from getting drunk previously. He expressed his empathic thoughts for Luffy after helping bury his brother Ace after the war, knowing that it must have been a hard and painful experience for him. They still have yet to meet each other face to face, since Luffy was a kid, but Luffy restated his interest in seeing Shanks again in the New World after departing from Fishman Island. Meanwhile, Shanks and the red-haired pirates seem delighted at Luffy's growth. Luffy has stated that in spite of Shanks being his idol, he has interest in taking him down as well, since the red-haired man is one of the four emperors and thus in his way of becoming pirate king. After Luffy's action in Big Mom's territory was revealed to the world, 
Shanks was pleased with Luffy's progress and stated that Luffy was almost ready to meet him. Shanks and Buggy served on the Roger Pirates since their childhood and they constantly fought with each other. Ironically, in their youth, Buggy accused Shanks of being too naive and innocent to ever make it as a pirate. But Shanks is currently a great pirate, while Buggy and his crew are very weak in comparison. Because of Shanks' accidental fault, Buggy lost a treasure map and he ate the Bara Bara no Mi by mistake, being unable to swim. Buggy has developed a grudge since then. However, despite their constant arguing about each other, Shanks did not hesitate to save Buggy after they later almost drowned, meaning that Shanks at least used Buggy as his friend, despite the feelings not being mutual. Shanks also tended to him after the latter fell ill while the rest of the crew went to Laugh and later wanted Buggy to be part of his crew. Also in moments where they did not argue with each other, Shanks and Buggy were capable of holding a friendly conversation. After Roger's execution, Shanks acted on his promise and offered Buggy a position in his crew, but the latter refused to work for him and he went his separate ways. Having not met each other for years, despite their last meeting it appears Shanks kept tabs on him as he was aware of Buggy's action as a pirate. The Marines themselves described their relationship as a brotherly bond, and Whitebeard himself has noted that the two were always together. Kozuki Oden even wondered about their complex relationship in his logbook, wondering whether Shanks and Buggy saw each other as friends or enemies. When the two met for the first time in over 20 years, Shanks was able to trick Buggy into giving Luffy the straw hat back with the promise of a false map, showing that Shanks is aware about Buggy's nature and interest. After learning of his deception, Buggy furiously berated Shanks for it, while Shanks himself was calm and greeted him joyfully, despite Buggy's reaction, indicating that despite their difference, the personal relationship is still on similar ground to what it was in the past, although Shanks is obviously the only one who has matured, where he still seems to view Buggy as a friend, since he was able to shrug off the latter's anger and trust him with his precious straw hat. Ironically, it was partially due to Buggy's association with Shanks, along with several other factors, that Buggy was offered a position as one of the seven warlords of the sea by the world government. This, however, is a result of inaccurate research from the Marines' part, as their reports greatly exaggerated the friendship aspect of Shanks and Buggy's relationship, leading to the wrongful perception that both pirates were equal standing to each other. As for the relationship between Shanks and Mihawk, Mihawk retains a natural though somewhat friendly relationship with Shanks and can track him down if the need arise. He and Shanks do manage to get along, regardless of their opposite personalities. Shanks was able to get Mihawk to join in when he threw a party to celebrate Luffy's first bounty. Even when moments beforehand, Mihawk has scorned how laid back Shanks was. Mihawk even mused out an apology to Shanks during the battle at Marineford, where he declared that he would not be holding anything back against Luffy right before launching a full force assault upon the Straw Hat Pirate. When Shanks made his entrance during the White Bear War, Mihawk left the battlefield while stating that he agreed to participate in the war against Whitebeard, but fighting Red Hair is beyond the scope of the world government's orders. As a former member of the Roger Pirates, chief of the Red Hair Pirates, and one of the four emperors in the New World, Shanks is known to be one of the four strongest pirates in the world. However, not much is known about Shanks' powers and abilities in detail. Despite being the youngest of the four emperors, Shanks is on equal level with the more experienced Kaido, Charlotte Linlin, and even Whitebeard, who was feared as the strongest pirate in the world. Rockstar also used his captain's name to convey to Whitebeard the importance of the letter he delivered to him. It was also stated by the five elders that he is one of the few people capable of stopping Teach. Admiral Akaino fought through many men, a couple of Whitebeard's division commanders 
and two former warlords of the sea to get to Luffy, but did not challenge Shanks when the Emperor appeared. Members of the Verge generation, such as Eustace Kidd, Scratch Manapu and Basil Hawkins, had to ally with each other to have a possibility of overthrowing Shanks. As a member of the Four Emperors, Shanks' name alone commands great power, as Buggy himself proved. His asseration that he previously had a brotherly bond with Shanks was one of the many things that earned him respect from the Impel Down inmates. In addition, Buggy did not shy from using the name of Shanks and his previous captain, Goldie Roger, to maintain his respect among them. Even the fact that Buggy was seen back talking to Shanks was seen as a testament of Buggy's power to the former prisoners who were not aware that the two had always acted like this and mistakenly thinking that it was because Buggy was not afraid of an emperor. Shanks commands enough power to end the war at Marineford with just words. When he stated that there was to be no more fighting, no one stepped up to challenge him, even though the marines were fired up after the death of Ace and Whitebeard. When Shanks offered to fight the very overconfident and pomposed Blackbeard, who moments before had boasted about destroying the island and taking down Fleet Admiral Sengoku and Vice Admiral Garp after having already killed Whitebeard. Blackbeard declined and decided to leave as it was too soon for him and his crew to take on Shanks. Furthermore, when Shanks requested that Whitebeard and Portugal's DA's dignity and death not to be violated, Sengoku himself decided to call off the war and offer to take responsibility, showing that despite being a pirate, Shanks has earned Sengoku's respect, something that no pirate other than the late Whitebeard is known to have achieved. He also possesses enough influence to gain an audience with the five elders who, like the leaders of the world governments, would normally consider him an enemy, although he did have to wear a hood to hide his identity, to not cause trouble. According to Branyu, one of Shanks' greatest attributes is his leadership and charisma, having managed to earn the absolute trust and loyalty of the most talented and capable individuals from the Four Seas and Grand Line, all noted for having particularly high bounties and recruited them into his crew. The most prominent are his officers, Ben Beckman of North Blue, Yasop of East Blue, and Lucky Roo of South Blue. This made Shanks' crew extremely well balanced and impregnable, able to contend equally with the enormous military power of Charlotte Linlin's Big Mom Pirates, Kaido's Beast Pirates, and Edward Newgate's Whitebeard Pirates. Shanks is one of the very small number of people in the world who can use all three types of hockey. Even Whitebeard complimented Shanks for his hockey when he used it on his visit. Shanks can use Supreme King's hockey, an ability that only one in several million people can use. Shanks knows how to use Supreme Kings to intimidate beasts. After saving Luffy from the Lord of the Coast, Shanks frightened it off with a single angry glare using this ability. Later, while Shanks was boarding Whitebeard ships for their first meeting, a large number of Whitebeard's crew, experienced men who have survived the new world, collapsed into unconsciousness at the ship. Itself began to take physical damage from Shanks' mere presence something that no other character has ever displayed. Whitebeard's men attributed this to his superior hockey. Shanks were implied that his supreme king's outburst was accidental on his part as a result of not feeling comfortable on an enemy ship, meaning that even he can lose control of his hockey. Oda mentioned in an SPS that Shanks could have knocked out all 100,000 pirates of fishmen opposing the Straw Hats during the Fishman Island arc with his Supreme King Saki, Luffy managed to overwhelm 50,000. With this, I covered everything I wanted to cover about Shanks in this video. And that will be all for this video. If you like this video, leave a like, leave your thoughts in the comments below, or subscribe to the channel for more One Piece content as well as other manga content. And until next time, take care.